G'day YouTube, so tonight a bit of a review for you, once again purchased with my own dollars and cents, only about 55 bucks Australian, softbanggood.com, like always links to buy one of these will be in the video description, little kickback, got to tell you all that, anyway, this is the Power Genius T610, 120 uh, watt, well, 10 amp, whichever's higher, um, RC balance charger, discharger, super duper everything machine. XT60 in, XT60 out. Uh, XT60 out for the main port. There's a balance port with a balance board like such. That's a fairly common thing now. You actually plug this board in and then plug your uh, balance leads into these. Stops you risking bending a pin there, I guess. USB link up there, servo test pins I guess, the temperature sender pins there, 5mm, DC there, nice little fan in the back there, little quality control pass marks and all that kind of stuff on it, quite well vented, looks like the whole thing's sitting on an aluminium back plane, I'm not going to open it and find out, I've got horrible luck so far with uh, RC charges, lipo charges, all those things. So, we're not going to risk it and find out. Basically, I just keep killing them. So we've got a lipo to play with uh, on it. Bench is messy as, as always. But uh, without further ado, let's fire it up. I've got it connected to a 12 volt 5 amp power source. It's the same one I was using for the little TS100 soldering pen. We haven't modded that yet. That's that's coming soon. We'll get there. You apply power, you get a uh, Jet Car Series T1600. Then we've got a semi coloured LCD screen. The fan does a test. It's a touch screen. So LiPo, LIHV, LIFE. Nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium PB. So we've got all of those. Uh, so we'll go, uh, we're going lipo for now. We'll go balance charge. We'll just show you a quick easy test. Uh, works out what cells you've got automatically. You can pick your current and away you go. So let's, we've got a 2S 4 amp lipo here. So the smallest board on the thing's 2S because if you had 1S you don't need to balance it. Once you plug that in, as soon as you do that, it comes up straight away and says 2S. I'll show you that in a sec. We'll just do a positive and negative at the same time. Which we're going to struggle with. Um, I'll just get something to put in those XT60 to Dean's plugs. I think I've got an adapter. Right, so I couldn't put my hand on it in a short period of time. But these, they will go to leads, are a bit skinnier in the jaw so they will fit. So, black to yellow, red to red. Okay, let's go back to the screen. If that's not too horrible to see, the light's a bit of an issue. Okay, so it automatically picks 2S. We might drop the current a little bit. Beautiful touchscreen, really responsive. You can actually save a memory of what you just wanted to do. Input voltage 12.3. Battery voltage was uh, it's 8 volts there. So we can go cells. Damn, they're nearly perfect. 4.0. Yeah, a couple of millivolts in difference, that's crazy. Um, data tells you the internal battery voltage. Tells you the output voltage, input voltage. It's a cell count error. I'm trying to start that again. Start. I think I might have moved the plug out. 
Let's check in the battery. Sounds a bit more happy now. Pushing half an amp in. Target voltage is 8.4 volts. A red light at the top flashing says it's pushing in. Pretty good warning beeper. I don't know why it's upset. That's the balance leads a bit sad or something. But anyway, you get the you get the idea of how easy it is to actually hook up and hook it up and run it. So let's get around to that one there. Let's grab a little lead acid battery and I'll show you how easy it is to start charging one of those. Okay, found a lead acid, it's a six volts. This should come through and for him. I think they're a nine amp hour, anyway. Someone will correct me. So, we should go back and pick our chemistry. So it's lead acid now. I'm gonna charge it. How many cells is there? We want it three in series because that's what there is in a six volt battery. If you're ever unsure with a lead acid battery, you can normally count the valves or the um, the fill caps. We'll try two amps. It's got a nice screen. I really like the screen. So it already had six volts in it. It wasn't exactly a flat battery. Target voltage, it will tell you. Uh, it tells you current capacity, tells you milliamp hours. And internal temperature of this charger. Uh, it'll tell you when the fan turns on. You'll hear the fan, obviously. So it's now pushing out 1.2 amps. At we're up to 72, 7.2 volts. And it goes. If you want to be real technical, it'll even show you a charge curve, which I thought's pretty cool. It tells you just the one because there's only the single. Yeah, I think it's a quite an amazing little charger. So we'll stop all that. Let's go back and do a discharge. Uh, so it's three cells. Let's go start. Checking the battery. It's discharging at 1.6 amps. Fan came on straight away. So there's obviously like a dump load resistor. We can monitor the temperature if we wanted to, it's not the end of the world. Target voltage for a 6 volt battery is 4.8 amps. Oh, 4.8 volts, sorry. Just you think I don't know arms law when I start saying things like that. The discharge at 1.7 amps. So, no reason you can't use it as a discharge charger as well. Like I said, about 50 bucks on banggood.com. Top of the video description, there'll be a link to buy one. I used it a bit, I charged the two sealed lead acid 12 volt batteries in my work unit to run my inverter with it and put 80 odd amps into them I just set it to I think it was 7 amps, 8 amps overnight just let it run and um, yeah really pushed I think it was 8 amps, it really pushed it in overnight and yeah woke up in the morning to go to work and went to disconnect it it had uh, yeah, 70 amp hours pushed into those two little seals, so it had, uh, it had certainly done its job, uh, hadn't faulted, had all the data on my screen still, really cool backlit LCD screen, yeah, just a, a much better version of an IMAX, it comes with the balance port, comes with a, um, what are they, 4mm banana plug to 5mm DC, plug cable um, and comes with the XT60 extension doesn't come with the alligator clips I bought those from Banggood separately but if you buy them scroll through Banggood buy some other bits and pieces I get a kickback thank you very much it allows me to buy things like this uh, without dipping into the everyday money 
and allows me to make videos like this unsponsored and um, yeah just as raw as that can be it's me showing you something that I've bought if it blows up you will see it look for a future video you'll probably see it pop up up the top there if it does die um, like the antimatter thousand watt like the ISDT T6 light all dead uh, I bought the ISDT Banggood sent me the antimatter but anyhow that's that thank you very much for watching I didn't mention uh, 6s balancing so it does up to 6s in lipo uh, thank you very much for watching I'll catch you in the next video cheers guys